Here the atomic arrangement of a meristor is schematically illustrated where the blue atoms are titanium, orange atoms are oxygen and green atoms are platinum. A power supply is introduced where a positive voltage is applied to the top electrode and a negative voltage to the bottom electrode. The applied voltage is around 2 volt. In spite of such a low voltage, because of the nanometer scale thickness of the film layers, the working electric field is very high. Due to the very high electric field, the oxides of the switching layer migrate to the top electrode and accumulate at the interstitial sites near the interface. As soon as the oxides leave, vacancies form at their preceding sites. The oxide releases its electrons after reaching the top electrode and the electrons go to the positive terminal of the power source. Electrons released from the negative terminal goes to the bottom electrode. Because of the oxide vacancies at the switching layer, a net positive charge is created. And to balance this net positive charge, the incoming electrons from the bottom electrode accumulate at the switching layer and moves through the titanium cations leading the switching layer to n-type semiconductor behavior. Due to the applied electric field, the available electrons give rise to the electrical conductivity of the switching layer. These phenomena ultimately end up forming a conductive filament across the switching layer. The current state of the device is called the low resistance state which can be considered as binary one or we can say the device is on. Even if the power supply is withdrawn, the state of the device persists. That means this device memory is non-volatile. During this on state, the structure of the switching layer stays non-stoichiometric.